Hi guys, this is no instructions required here. And today I'm bringing you set 10176. This is the King's Castle set. And I'm just telling you now, for a heads up, this thing is huge. But I've been waiting for this for such a long time. And what really inspired me to get this set was a guy named Ty the Lego Guy. Yeah, he's really cool. I'll check him out. Uh, he did like a. He does reviews and look throughs and Q&A questions and stuff. And he did uh, like the same set which inspired me to get. So if you want a bigger like look through thing, I would go his channel and look that up. So let's start. This thing's huge, so it's really hard to do. Okay, so right away you could tell like how big this is and like yeah so so right here as you can see there's a drawbridge and this this is just one or two entrances you turn it around there's a uh, some gates back here but first we'll start over here so if we just take this figure off you could push up the drawbridge to make sure to make sure no one goes in and you look through there's a few people on the sides and you can see multiple towers and turrets so there's something really really cool about these you could take one off to make it like a sub assembly so um, this one right here is just the first one and already you can see like everything on this and you may be wondering what that is th what this is and this is a catapult which launches like these round studs and so it shoots like that it has a few weapons on the side and so this is where they keep the treasure it's really cool if, if you take out this pin and pull out the treasure chest you open it up there's a whole lot of stuff in here uh, this king must be loaded so yeah and they each go in these like little holes and next we have a completely identical one except for the fact that there's no treasure chest it's just yeah that's the most boring tower in this and so, if we go along the side, you could see, like, there's a nice little staircase up. And you could see this, like, gate tower. It opens like this, and you can put it either way. And there's just a little ghost hide in here. It's a really nice build. And... So this one's the biggest and the best out of all towers right here. So right here, um, this is three stories. It's also the tallest tower. Now this seems like pretty boring, but as you can see, this like black thing over here. If you, I'm not sure really how to do it. I think it's supposed to go like this and it drops more of these stuff. Because it goes like in there. And I'm going to try it. Yeah, so I'm not sure really how this works. Someone wouldn't mind showing me. I'll be really thankful. So it goes up there. Nice little thing. And there's a secret about this build. If you go around. If I put it back. And we go around. You can see this sort of bars here. If you lift it up, you can actually put people inside. Because like I said, there's um, there's these holes right here. And you can put the towers in. So this one is really cool. You can play with it. Like this. And there's like this gate here. So with that, you could say like... This ghost has been bad to the king. You put him in there and lock him in there. Yeah. So speaking about this king, we have this whole big thing right here. 
So with this, it has like, as you can already tell, this drawbridge, which is like this, but right now it's locked because of this. It's really cool locking mechanism. Really simple too. You just put it in, take it out like that. And if you also want to keep the gate up, you could do it like, yeah, like this. So you could get in. Yeah, this is another thing that completely all comes out. So the set can move apart really well. Like this. And this is like the biggest part of the set. And so we've got the drawbridge. Go around. You could see a bunch of stuff here. Mm. But here is the king right here. And he has a really nice throne which swivels around like this. And I think it's two ferrets. I'm possibly wrong on that. And he has a nice little sword. It just goes in like that. I think it's spin. And. Oh yeah. So. If you open the drawbridge. Or if you don't. For extra defense you could do this. With the. Not sure what they're really called. Uh, spears. Sure. And they do it like that. Upstairs, there's this wizard, and this is really cool. He has this, like, scroll piece, fire, and he's a little table with this, like, blue goblet right here. Yeah. And above that's just really boring, just a bat. So, yeah. You may be seeing this, sort, this stuff under it. So, if you take everything off... Yeah, and so I was talking about um, this other entrance. It goes through right here in the back. Nice little gateway. You'll push it open. And so in here, it's like this blacksmithing place. Here's a blacksmith. Right here. I'll get into the figures later. So in here we got the blacksmithing stuff where the coals are. And we have this right here, which is like this armor. I'm not really like too keen about this thing is since it's from like two thousand and farther back and so I'm not sure. We got this armor and this. We go in, and I was building this, this surprised me, because I thought this was a nicer kick, and, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Again, not too sure. And, so, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get into the minifigure. Yeah, so here are the minifigures. There's 12, I only have half of them up here, because there's so many. And, so, right here, so first we have the king again. Which was basically the early version of the other king. I showed in the chest set. This is the one from 2008. This is 2000. Yeah, it's an earlier version. And next we have the wizard. Who um, has a magnifying glass. He has a magnifying glass and a snake. Very nice hat piece, and here's his face. So next we have the possibly evil blacksmith, like this. And he has one of the nice big swords, like that, and he's fixing it up. No, no dual face, but like that. And if we turn this around, we have, so there's multiple, like, king soldiers and stuff. We have this, like, really nice rusty base plate thing. We turn it around, and, oh, look at that. It's Johnny Thunder. And this will help out for me, because, um, like, two years ago, I found this really nice package. Just randomly, and it has some of the old Johnny Thunder things, 
we got his first one with his head. Now I have another head. And we have like the green one from his Oriental Adventure. So now we keep going. We have another one sort of like that. But different headpiece. Not sure I really like the orange mustache and hair. But yeah. And so next we have this ghost right here who's really nice and I think he glows in the dark under that it's just this white like tunic thing and a black headpiece so I'm gonna go test this right here okay I did test it but I didn't turn the camera on cuz you couldn't see it at all through the camera but it does glow a little so yeah Next, we got some, like, horseback riders. So, yeah, so right here we have more of the king's horsemen, which are good, with a red flag. And we have more of this, like, maybe possibly evil bull thing. And he's wearing different armor than everybody else. Black horse. And there's just this little nice cart over here with another evil guy. And he has this nice, um... What is it called? Crossbow on it right here. A sword. Another big sword. And this um, spear. So the figures of that are... So right here are those three figures. We have one lion's knight guy. And he has a very unique facial features right there. The nice shield. Good armor and stuff. And we have this very nice um, knight helmet. And with these guys, we have another bull thing, the bad armor. And we take off his helmet right here. That may be from Johnny Thunder. I'm really not sure. Someone correct me on that. And I have another one of his companions. Like that. Now this is for sure from Johnny Thunder. So. We put it like that. And I was looking through this. And. So. I got this off eBay. And it didn't have all these stickers. Like lion stickers. You look on it. None of them really have it. Except for these two. So. Um, the people. That gave it. That I got this from. Um. They gave a bag. It says extra on it. And so that's sure what's in here. Okay, wow. So these pieces were not included. There's another tower. Another black horse. One of these big swords. And we have some of these special one piece axes. And some just gray pieces, a spear, right here. And if we look through, we have another ferret thing, a slingshot, and one of those more empty flags. Yeah, so now let's get into the animals. So here are the animals. There's, um, there's eight animals, but, um, two of which are these. Uh, three of which are these, and they're on the king's throne in there. So, we have three horses, which are the old horses where you could put the armor on. One white and... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Seven. That was extra. One black and one white horse. We have this really nice old dog piece right here. Yeah. So like I said with the ferret things, we have three of them. And we also have this possibly mole rat. Rat thing. Doesn't look very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys with the minifigures. There's also these old skeleton pieces, which um is how he hung is how he was hung. 
because 